Today's parasha is parasha, is parasha's Lech Lecha. I wanted to tell you something about uh, a few years ago. I was dominating in a shul that's called Oel Yitzchok in Kiryat Moshe. My son lives there. That's the show where he used to go to in Shabbat. Now he found a better place. And I used to go there when I ate by him. I used to go there. On Friday night, there was once I heard a drusha from somebody over there. The show is a Datila Umi show, but it's an old show. And the people are old, and they're from the old generation of the team, Lumi. The new generation are much firmer than them, and take Yiddish kind much more serious than these people there. But the old people, they go to show. You have to give them credit for going to show. I would imagine they all have televisions at home, and that some of their children are not from. But that's just a guess. And uh, this person was speaking, he wasn't the robe of the show, but he looked like a Mechubedika person. And he was different than the others. He wore a tie and a jacket, and he had a beard. He looked like a Yodea Sefer, maybe even a Talmud Chochem. It was on a Friday night. I think it was Parsha's bow. It wasn't this week's Parsha, but he said something on this week's Parsha. And... I would guess that I'm the only one in that whole show of around 50 people that remember what he said over there. Maybe another two or three. And he said like this, Avram Avinu came to Eretz Yisrael. What was the first, where was the first place he went to? Vayav Avram Barat Ad Mekam Shechem Ad Elon Mora. So Shechem, we know what it is, Elon Mora is... Uh, also a place, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's near Hebron or where, I don't know where it is, but he didn't, so this person asked, why didn't he go straight to Yerushalayim, the, the center of Eretz Yisrael, Eser Kedusha, saying the mission, he says, Yerushalayim is the holiest place in Eretz Yisrael, the place of the Kedusha space, Amikta. and we know that there's this in Zvachim that says, that the whole Kedushas Yerushalayim comes from the Kedushas Amikdash. Ah, why didn't he go there? It's not, nothing is mentioned about him. And this person said like this, this is talk that we're not used to, we never heard at all. Uh, he said, Avram Avinu is not building a religion over here. Avram Avinu is building a nation a nation, a religion, that you go to Yerushalayim. That's the place of Avodah. Avraham Avinu is building a nation. A nation, he goes to places that are important to the nation. Shechem and Elon Mora. I don't know why Shechem and Elon Mora are more important to building a nation. Why? What makes them more more national than, than Yerushalayim? I don't know. Of course, the names they sound nowadays, they, they have a ring of, of na- nationalism. But, but what, what, I don't know. And because of that, he didn't go to Yerushalayim, he went to these places. Now, I'm not going to call this talk Trafe, even though I might have, I was thinking to use that word, but I'm not going to use that word. And maybe it is. Maybe there is some some kernel of truth in it. Abraham Avinu is building a nation. He's building a a a, 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 a and, and you do find in the psukim all the time it says the avtocha of Zaracha and the avtocha of Eretz Yisrael and Kesayder. The the talk of Hashem is talking to Abraham Avinu is. Is the land, I'm give you the land, I'm going to give you the land. So it, it, there is a certain uh, feeling, maybe, that what's happening here is he's building a nation. Although, today we're only giving a mini share, and really you could talk a lot, what does it mean a religion? What does it mean a nation? And are they two things, or are they not two things? You could talk uh, at least three quarters of an hour, but today I'm just going to talk short. And the wise people understand with a hint. So this person said, 
since he's building a nation, he goes to these places. Now, it, it is true that there is a nation that are called Jews. The question is, if you take away the Torah from Yidin, do they? If there could be such a thing, you could take away the Torah, would they stay Jewish? Would, would they be a, how's it called, an ethnic group? Or, or would they just become, uh, um, uh, I don't know what, like, like any part of the nation where they live, they would become a Frenchman or a German or an Englishman or an American without Torah. But there is no such thing to take away a Jew without Torah. And even if a Jew breaks away from Torah, there's always Ramazim. I was just reading a book about the Nusei Sfarat from a professor, Yermio Yuval. And you see, I, I can't talk too much because this is a mini shit. But you see, all the time, the Mishumadim and the Mumrim and the those that they, that they were forced to, to become Gaish, but, but they had they had Judaism, Jewish traits in them. And the more religious of them were always looking for, for religion, and they, they weren't satisfied with the empty, meaningless, chitzoniistic uh, worship of the of, of Catholicism. Uh, there, there is a yid, a yid all the time. But maybe a Roma, but, but, but of course, there's also the first floor, there's the Yesod. The Yesod maybe is a nation, a nation with a land. Maybe there is such a thing that we have to think about and we have to talk about. But I want to say something else. You look good. What is Shem and what's Elon Mora? Let's look at Rashi. Rashi says he went to Shem because he went there to be Mishpal on the Bnei Yaakov when they're going to fight against the Goyim of Shem. They're going to war against them, just a few, two Bnei Yaakov against the whole city of Shem. He went to Elon Mora because that was the place where they were Mechabal, the Brochus, and Klolos, and Hargrizim, and Arevo. So let's look into this. What is Avram Avinu doing? Many things happened there at Yisrael. I mean, I would have said, let him go to the first place, the Bikas Hayad, and, and see the place where Shlomo HaMelech is also to, 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 to make the Amudim in the Beis HaMikdash. The Pesach says, B'kik HaYad and Yitzhakam HaMelech B'mavei Adoma. And Hashem showed that place to Moshe Rabbeinu. Um... um we landed uh, when, uh, three weeks ago in the Siumatur, so Rashi says he showed him the Bikas Ayad, and we're over there, they were, I think it was Boros, we we're in those Boros, they were Yotzek, the Amudim of the base of Mikdash, and the Nachoshes, I don't know exactly what it is, but that's a, there's a place, and uh, and uh, let him show him that, the place where, the, where, where we're going to bring. No. He goes to Shechem and Elon Moor. I would say like this. Shechem is the symbol of Shechem, the first place where he went. That's the war for Kedusha. Hakizono Yasis Achuseinu, Shimon and Levi said to Yaakov, their father. And they pa. Hello? Yeah, yeah. They passed that we have to go out to war and kill out this whole city. And you can say it, Terry, she's a Pnuya, she's not an ACC, and maybe it's even her fault, but Tate Dina and all that. Doesn't matter. Kid. The, the opposite of Kedusha, you go to war and you kill. And with that, we're going to build the Eretz Yisrael, Avraham Avinu said. He saw that in that place, the war against Tuma, the war against Nus is going to happen. We have to give them Koach right now in, in, in advance. And with, 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 without Kedusha, there's no Eretz Yisrael and there's no nation. I hear 
they came back at the base of Medina on on two men's news it gives bonus that they should they should have an army with that it said the Torah says below ye rabbi chayavas dover and they made an army with you should be a rabbi chayavas dover that's what kind of army they made and and Avram Avinu understood if there's not going to be Kedusha there's no Eretz Yisrael what's the second thing Elon Murray, Har Grisim, and Har Eva. What did they do over there? They gave the brachos and clothes. They said, Or Rashelo Yokim as Divre Ator Azos Lazos Oso. They gave a curse to anybody who doesn't help be making the Torah, help make Torah be in Klau Yisrael. And it should be the place where they announced in public, that there, if there's no Torah, there's no Kiyomah Torah, it's horror. And then after that goes, Tzadik has clothes of the Tochocha, Vachaltem Besar Benechem. It comes to show that without Torah, the worst of the worst will happen to us. Avram Avinu went there to be in that place to show this is Eretz Yisrael. This is the, the land I want for my children. A land that Torah is such that if you don't have it, the worst of the worst, it can, you can't exist without Torah. These two places Avram Avinu went to visit. So you're going to tell me he went to visit these places because of nationalism, because of low Meyut. Avram Avinu Dafka went to these places. We can't, and I would add more than that. There can't be a Yerushalayim, there can't be an Avodah Zamikdash before we have the Sur Meirah. And these places represent the Sur Meirah. Oh, you're right, brother. Yes, yes, continue. That's what Avram Avinu went to establish. And with that, with that, even if you're going to say Avram Avinu is going to... To, to, to establish, to build a nation. What's the nation? Am Kodesh. Yikim Hashem lo la Am Kodesh. Avram Avinu, when he came to Eretz Yisrael, he was Messiah in advance. He laid the Yisodis that this should be an Eretz HaKodesh and this should be an Am Kodesh and that without that, there's nothing, nothing. There's the worst of the words. Vis makartim sham lo yevechol avodim v'lishfochos v'ein koner. That's Eilu Divrei Abriz, and that was the Hagrizim and our evil. Hashem should help us that we should always remember. Every day we should remind ourselves that without Torah, without the smallest minig of Klal Yisrael, if we're mezalzlin, that's mimoves. That's the opposite of Chaim. And we should be Zorched at Bekarov. It should be La Lesakin Olam Bemachus Shaddai. We should have the Emissar at Yisrael, the Emissar Binyan of Eretz HaKadosh. When the Beers are Mashiach, Bim Hera, Amen, Amen, Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Kaplan. Just to explain to our listeners that we haven't posted for a couple of weeks, and now it's Friday, air of Shabbos, uh, an hour before we're Shabbos. Right yeah, we're yeah. running to make Shabbos so we can't be married. So we have to make Zolus to be Yotze and keep it the momentum. We're posting a short sh- going, sh- But I think this is a powerful It was word. very powerful, and we. I thank you myself and in the name of all our listeners. Yeah. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos.